brand new Far Cry vlog for my Far Cry branch line. So today is uh, going to be involving improvements to the layout to make sure it's all operating okay and just to add on a few extra features that I think would actually would enhance the the operation of the layout. So today today's update is regarding the the track of Far Cry and as you can see here I've actually started to relay the track because the main reason is that when I was building the layout, I sort of rushed the track in some areas, and there were some parts of it there which I really wasn't pleased with. So I thought I might as well take this opportunity to try and relay the track and get it all running and running again to make sure everything is running smoothly. Now the main reason why I have to relay the track is that some of the engines had problems with um, getting over the baseboard joints. Some of them had trouble entering the station, and there was one there was one or two derailments that did happen along the way and I thought this was just the, the best time to, to sort it out. One of the main, one of the main locos on the, on the line that actually suffered the most with this uh, track is Thomas. Now, you can, you, I would actually say uh, that uh, the main reason was because of the tight radius of the curves that I put in, because some of the curves on the line are actually a bit too tighter than, than I actually originally wanted them to be, and uh, I'd say this is probably down to the the track set a template that I used to try and make up the whole radius for the for the whole layout, which was by 18 inches, I think it was, was the minimum radius set. So I think this one was a bit too tight for the layout in total. So to solve the problem, what I actually did is I actually went back and to use something, some old methods I actually uh, sometimes use when I make my model railways, and that's the involvement of Pico set track. Now Pico set track is just uh, like standard Hornby track you can get from train sets and that there and it's just standard track really, it's a sectional track. So I chose the I chose Pico set track because I, I quite like the quality of the track work. It's really really nice there. The sleepers are the right colour. And uh, it's just good stuff. I actually find good stuff to work with. So uh, these I've actually used two different types of two different radiuses for the entrance into Far Core. So uh, here we have the third radius on Pico, which is the biggest uh, radius you can get from the Pico range, yeah, this is the Pico set track range, and then just before the curve points here, we have a second radius curve here, and that's the same for on the other side of uh, the tunnel there. Inside the tunnel there, the tracks are also being rel relayed as well, using the same ones, and it's pretty much the same pattern all the way around from from one side to the other, just just differently. That's all. So uh, that's pretty much all have to, has to be, needs to be done there. So I'm just doing a test run with Thomas here to see how he performs, and he performs well enough. Uh, if I can just give you a give you a sec here just to show you. So, originally that never actually would work that well, and originally it would be more or less resulting in constant derailments throughout the whole run. And even enter Thomas entering the station there, just pushing any clarabell in, that's, that actually is even better performance I, I've, that I've ever seen. So Thomas has never, never ever done that during the time's uh, layout, the layout's operation there, so that's a big improvement, definitely without doubt. Now the one thing that's currently worrying me at the moment when it comes to building this layout is the actual crossover joint on the layout. Now what I mean here is that if I just move the camera down here, tilt it down here, right, as you can see here, just zoom in here, fix focus, there we go. Now as you can see here, there is a gap right here. Now this is because the, the two layer the layout is actually built on two boards and they fold together into a box. Now I have to make sure that the tracks cross over this finely. Now I actually showed in my early v one of my early uh, videos on the vlog 
I actually, you can actually see me laying the track over this particular joint. And I will actually admit here, that was actually the wrong method that I used, because I actually had two separate pieces of track, soldered them to the screws, and sort of try to guess exactly if they were properly aligned or not then. And that actually was, didn't, wasn't the right way, because I did find that there was quite a lot of hassle along the way, there was trains constantly derailed, the tracks weren't properly aligned, so... I'm going to try this again, see if I can get this get this to, to work, and uh, I think the method is... Uh, I'm gonna ha just going to have this one standard piece of set track, because uh, the main joint, the joint right here is right here, but I'm going to see if I cut the sleepers off here, and then I'm going to put in the brass, put in the, the screws that I was going to put in, to get the wires that for connecting the two the, the two baseboards together, um, for more or less the power wise. Solder the rails onto that there. Again, checking to make sure that the height is right, because remember, always had to make sure that the height of the screws is the same as the underneath of the rail, so that way it's a good flush fit. And see how it goes. Test running again, see, make sure there's no uh, gaps or anything in there. And then get my get my Dremel with a, a very fine cutting disc, and then just try and cut along there to match up with that joint. I don't know again. Again, I don't know how that will turn out, but I'm really I'm hoping that this will this will work. Um, I'm just just more or less concerned just to see how how it turns out. Because I mean, it, the the layer's performing really well here right now with just without those bits on, and to try and get to try and get that to run, you know, the trains to get over that gap smoothly is going to be a bit of a hassle. It's going to be a bit of a problem for me to try and get right so just hope it just really just hope it turns out okay so uh, what else have we got installed here for Farcore? Uh, it's not only the track around here that needs to be improved it's also the track in the fill yards now as you can see here the, the fill yards look a wee bit cluttered at the moment because we have some track um, being left about and uh, the, the one thing I want to try and improve here in the fill yard is um, basically mostly it's the quarry siding Whoop, I'll just point it over there can't bring the camera in just that further because there's enough room at the moment though. But if you can see there, that's that wee gap over there where the point levers are. That's the quarry siding there. Now that's been taken up at the moment because I'm going to be adding an extra siding into that area. So the crossover, the crossover parts you can see just there underneath the control panel, they're going to be moved down a little further. Just uh, I'd say maybe just maybe underneath the actual control panel itself. And then I'm going to install another set of points just after those ones there, and that's going to split into two separate sidings, so that'll go into the siding there. And that's just so I can hold the train, hold uh, the quarry trains and Toby at the same time. Because I found out in the, origi of the original fire quarry branch line actually uh, had, those had those features installed, just for the sake of the convenience of uh, the, a the additional rolling stock that was uh, that was running on, running on the layout. And... Uh, I think you know doing that there would just make the make it a bit more reliable and run a bit more run a bit more better at least in my opinion anyway. So uh, that's pretty much uh, in terms of track wise that all needs to be sorted out. So I'm gonna just do the main loop first and then I'm gonna take up the tracks in the station area and relay them again because there's a few kinks and gaps in there that needs to be fixed again. Uh, mostly that crossover section up over there where the cattle uh, dock is. It will just move there. Just where that where that crossover is, there is a kink in there, and a uh, bit of a big gap in there as well. So I wasn't really pleased about that area, and I just need to get that fixed up. So it should be okay. I should get it all running and sorted again, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Right, guys, that's all I have lined up for you guys uh, for the moment. Uh, I'll see how I get on. I might do a couple of test videos after this here, just to see how the the new track will look, and. Uh, yeah, if it all goes well, then we'll move on to the next stage, which is rewiring the layout. Uh, mainly because there's quite a lot of wires that need tidying up, and some of them are not in the right places. So, I'll have to get that sorted out. Okay guys, that's all I have to say here, so uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon.